In this video we're going to have a look at the new M5 stack Carputer Advance and just see how it compares to the previous models. So I've got the original Carputer, I've got the Carputer V1.1 and then this is the Carputer Advance. So just a quick comparison between the original to the version 1.1. The only difference is um, they upgraded the Stamp S3 to a Stamp S3A which gives a better Wi-Fi reception. Besides that they're pretty much exactly the same. And if we compare the version 1.1 to the Carputer Advance, still using the Stamp S3A, um, you can see that they've redesigned the way it looks. So it's got like a, a white plastic uh, on the front, as opposed to like a gray single tone. Um, and this has got a two tone, so it's got the white and it's like a, a dark gray on the back. The main difference is you've got these accessible 14 pin header so we can access additional GPIO pins so we can put attachments in uh, on top of it so I think they call it caps so I've got one of their LoRa caps so it's got GPS and LoRa so with this I can connect it to the card computer and use it for Meshtastic or um, use the GPS module just zoom in so the other difference is you've got 1750 milliamp hour battery on the computer and it's just a single cell battery as opposed to the old, older models they had the 120 milliamp hour um, battery sitting I think just below the screen There's a, there was a little battery and then you've also got a 1400 milliamp hour battery in the back here. So overall the battery capacity has increased on the computer advance. You can see a slight difference in the shape of it as well. It's got a bit of a curve, which is a bit nicer to hold. So when you hold it, it's actually a bit nicer to hold than the old card computer, which has got a bit of a edge on that. And this is just look at the cap that you put on. Um, another thing to note is um, when you receive it, I think it comes with stock with a 868 megahertz antenna so because I'm in Australia we use 915 so I have to change that to a different antenna um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're ordering it that you might need to order uh, additional antenna as well so it just snaps in on top um, it's also got two mounting holes so you can put two M2 screws um, my kit didn't come with any so hopefully in the future they come with M2 screws as well, so you can just screw it in if you want to have it like a, a permanent, um, permanently on, a bit stronger to mount, I guess. So yeah, this is the main benefit. So the, on the original computers, um, you'd either have to use like a SD card sniffer to access some additional GPO pins, um, and also use the groove connector. Um, to add like a CC1101 or an NRF24. So in my original one, this is my first one that I got and I modified it. So this is what I'd like to call the original card computer advance. Uh, well, my version anyway. So I did have GPI headers there, um, but I had to wire it internally. So it's not saying that most people would want to do so there's a chance of breaking or damaging your computer that way but yeah that was a nice fun project that I did um, so with the 14 pin header you can also make now that we've got that available is we can start making caps or add-on attachments so this is just a NRF 24 attachment that I've made um, so that just attaches onto the top. It's nice and small. Um, so if I go to NRF, let's go Spectrum. There's nothing showing, but it's it does work. Um, it's probably not the best module. So I might look at making other attachments. So I've got a CC1101, which I'm still currently working on. But yeah, you can attach it onto the top. 
So yeah, there's a lot of um, things that you know can be done to the Cadbury Advance that were a lot harder to do with the uh, older models. So especially if you want to use it for mesh tastic or something, this is definitely the one to get. So I haven't actually played around with the mesh tastic yet on this one, um, but it's available to flash on M5 burner. So we've got currently the stock firmware, which is like a demo. We've got Bruce firmware. So this is running Bruce firmware at the moment. And there's also mesh tastic um, available for the Carpute Advance. So just turn it off. Um, I might just open it up as well to see what's inside. So yeah, the Carpute Advance doesn't come with an Allen key like the previous two um, models. So in the packet, I didn't have a Allen key with it. So you can see you've got the for headphones or speakers and this is the battery, the 1750 milliamp hour. So it looks quite clean and neat. I'll open the front. Be careful I don't break it. That's what it looks like underneath. So in the original ones, I think the battery had a battery port there, so connector there, and then the battery used to sit, I believe, up here. This is just a very small battery. So it's got rid of that. Um, it's obviously got a new PCB board because it's got the going to the header. Um, it might open up the cap as well, just see what's inside. I don't break it. I believe it's just held by clips. But we'll find out. It's always a bit scary when you popping clips. So yeah, it's just got clips on it. And that's the board. So you got the GPS antenna on this side. You got a little battery there as well, and then you've got the LoRa board, and the, I think I don't know what that one is. Um, and you also have like a voltage converter. I think it converts it from the five volts down. But yeah, let's just quick look at what's inside the Cadbury Advance, and just quick comparison. Um, if there's any interest, um, I might do some DIY boards for the Cadbury Advance at a later date. So yeah, just chuck a comment, seeing you know what kind of attachments you'd like. This is just a test CC1101 and then we got a NRF24. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.